How's it going? I'm back with a Darman video for you guys today. Um, this one is called 13 year old witnesses her parents fight. What happens next to shocking Darman? Um, before I get into this video, um, I will respond to each individual comment, but thank you guys for congratulating me on the post um, for the award that I got at work. Um, it honestly was really a shock to me to win that award. Um, like, the reason I wanted to post it was like obviously not in, in not obviously to boast, but like you guys know that I'm low on self confidence and low on self esteem and low on self worth. So that honestly did I think help me I think help me a little bit get up because like I always thought that even though you guys comment yeah you're great you make like maybe you make me smile every time you upload which is it's crazy because like you guys smile every time I, I upload yeah okay well I guess I'll upload more often then like you know what I mean like I it makes me feel happy and obviously to win that award like when it got released in the office with like 10 15 others there. And there could have been another, like, 20 winners, and then for me to get chosen, it's like... Like, I genuinely felt surprised. I was like, wait, actually? Like, I genuinely said, like, seriously? Like, my face just went, like... Like, actually, like, I'm out. <laughs> I, my manager filmed it, and I asked her to see the, fo uh, the footage after, and then she was like, yeah, sure. So she shows me, and I look at it, and I'm like, oh my god, like, I gen like I'm not surprised. Like, I was surprised all that time, like, I'm not surprised at, my, at how my reaction was, because I just wanted to f see it because I knew that it was going to be funny. And I was kind of like, as, I, as soon as I saw my name on that big check, as you guys saw on the post that I did, I was just like, like, just very taken back. And I just started clapping, and I was just like, I, I don't know what to say. I, I, I genuinely was at a loss for words. And you guys know me, me at a loss for words, that's never the case, because I'm not really at, ever at a loss for words. I was genuinely surprised genuinely felt shocked and I felt happy because I genuinely felt like you know before that that people didn't appreciate me whether it be my supervisor or maybe like a manager even though I didn't necessarily feel unappreciated unappreciated but like you always feel like there could be more I feel like right and I guess it just really depends on like how you are but for me it's like Obviously, managers can't be there to be like, yeah, Damien, like, you're doing a great job every day. Like, yes, my manager has told me that I'm doing a good job. So it's it's not that she hasn't. I have, like, three managers. It's not it's not that she hasn't said I've done a good job, but at the same time, it's like you you wish you could hear it more. And to, to get that award of the year, basically, I was just like, wow. Like, I, I'm still at shock. I'm not going to lie. I'm still surprised that I had this check in front of me. And I was like, wait, what? It's like, seriously? Sorry, guys. One second. I just play you on my phone. Cats in the way. Get out of the way, bro. Um, so yeah, basically my point of like that is not obviously to boast or anything, but just to say that like, just to kind of pop, pop, post about it, express my, my appreciation for it. Because again, not only did I not expect that, but honestly, like, I do think I earned it, but I also felt like other people earned it too, you know what I mean? So it's just like, or deserved it too. So I don't know, it's just, I just kind of feel guilty. I'm kind of like, I get the prize and no one else, like for, for the year 2023, that's why I was just like, Ugh. I just felt like bad for the others. And I don't know, man, like it, it was hard. Not, not hard, but it was just like a weird pill to swallow. Like I don't really win anything. So to win that, I was just genuinely surprised, but that just goes to show you that your hard work does not always go unnoticed even if you think it does. Now, I'm not going to lie. This is not me saying that your hard work does, like, does go, like, I'm not going to say that your hard work does does not go unnoticed because it, it could go unnoticed, to be honest. Sometimes, like, genuinely, that is the case where, like, you work really hard and then your boss may not see it. So, honestly, that definitely could be the case. I'm not saying that it's not. I'm not saying that it is because it genuinely could be. But there's definitely times where your hard work is noticed and it does get appreciated, and in my case, it did. So, I'm just saying, keep working hard. Dreams can come true. That was honestly, I was honestly kind of thinking, yeah, that'd be pretty cool to win that, but I would never win it in my life. Like, I literally said that to myself. Like, you'll never win this in, in your life. I don't care how good you are. And then, there, there it is. I won for that for the last year, so I, I genuinely was surprised. But this is a really long intro. I really hope you guys watch until the, the end of this intro. Um, this is a 22-minute video. But again, keep grinding, keep going. Like, you guys are... 
honestly, hard work does pay off. I was telling my friend that the same thing today. He's doing full-time school, full-time job, and I was like, keep grinding, bro. Like, this is all you. Like, I don't, like, I'm just here, here to remind you. You got time, that you got this. You don't need to worry. Like, I know that his, his mindset's focused. Like, he's, he's focused, he's determined, and I know he can do it because of that. It's not, it's not anything to do with me. I just help him see that he's doing great and to keep on pushing because it'll work out, right? That's all I'm doing. I'm just, encourage, I'm just encouraging. And same thing with you guys. I'm encouraging you guys to follow your dreams. Keep doing what you're doing. Try try the best you can. Keep pushing. Keep pulling through. And then you got this. You know? Starting. Thirteen year old witnesses her parents fight. What happens next to shocking at Dharma Studios. Um so yeah, honestly again, just please keep grinding and, and you guys got this. Just keep on pushing. Sorry, that was a that that was a long intro. I just I'm still in shock. Even though it was like two whole days ago, I can't I can't seem to gather like wrap my head around it and accept that it actually happened and come to terms with it, even though it's not a bad thing, it's a good thing, but it's hard for me to come to terms that it actually happened. <laughs> What's wrong? The husband passed away. Calling it now. Or she lost her whole family. I, I really don't know. I think her kid's still there. No. Oh no, that's the dad, isn't it? Oh, he's leaving. Can you please hurry up? I don't want Jenny to see any of this when she gets home. Can slug her. How you gonna make any money without me, huh? I'm the one that's selling on the I'll candles. Figure it out, Evan. Damn, so she's kicking Just him out. Please hurry up. She's kicking him out or what's going on? You should have a seat. Uh, They're getting a divorce. Mom and I are getting a divorce. Separating. Separating? Is it like getting a divorce? I'm sorry. What? Why? Ask your mom. It was our idea. Damn. We just grew apart, baby, that's all. After 16 years, you just suddenly grew apart? Damn. Come on, tell me what's really going on. I can't believe you guys. Where is this even coming from? I swear, you guys were fine. Sweetheart, if you could just... No, don't sweetheart me. You're tearing our family apart, Mom, and for what? Pretty sure this title was different before. Darman always fucking does this, bro. Like he always psychs me out because I'm like, bro, this was named something different before. Why does he keep fucking with me? He keeps trying to fuck with me. What are these messages I'm getting? Why? Oh my god, shut up, bro. Sorry, I'm just reading a text that I got from my coworker. Literally, shut up. Thank you. Okay, anyways. Darman, I know that it was just a different title before. This was that like what two, two days ago or something? Yesterday, I don't know. Who cares? Where is it? Hmm. No, okay. It says with her parents fight, but I, I'm pretty sure before it says something about like thirteen year old girl like blames her mom for divorce or something. I swear to goodness that that's what it was before. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I swear to God that's that's what it was before. Okay, just look. Why? Like, grew apart isn't like what? Like, she doesn't love him anymore? Does she, did he, to get by without me. did he cheat on her, or? He can't say your candles without a website. Did he cheat on her, or like, what's, what's happening? Did he do anything, or is it all her? Like, oh, it's, it, it's not you, it's me.
going to have to get me all this makeup. I barely know how to use any of it. It's the least I could do since Evan took down your website. What a bitter, conniving little prick. Yeah, um, he controlled the website, the domain, the email, literally everything. I have no idea how to get new orders in. So why'd you divorce him? Like, I'm assuming we're going to find out in the end, but like, why? Spill the tea, girl. Why? Well, why? Oh, thank God we had separate bank accounts, because who knows what he would have done. I can't live off my savings forever, though. Look, just don't worry about it. This is like a new beginning. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I worry if I'm making the right decision, you know? Tearing my family apart. Uh, heck, yeah. I mean, after what he did? You know what you need? You need a new man. So that's what I was thinking. Like, what did he do? Did he do something to trigger this? Like, grew apart as in what? Like, you just fell out of love with him or what? Like, is there something deeper than that? It's, it seems like there is. Yeah. Absolutely not. That's way too soon. Exactly. The sooner you move on, the better off you are. You need a man like, um... Him? What? A hunk or what? No. Oh, uh, yeah. Go talk to him. What? Damn. <laughs> no. Relax. What? I would, what? I, I, what would I even say? I, I can barely hold a conversation. Well, if you don't go talk to him, I'm gonna bring him over here. No. Oh, yeah. Mariana. Oh yeah. No, 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 please. No, 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 don't. That's so awkward. Oh, hi. Sorry. Um. <laughs> Great. So this is my friend Candice. She's like, hi. Uh, hi. Hi. I mean, it's ridiculous. My mom was acting so nonchalant about it while my dad was legit packing up his life and already had keys to a new apartment. I have no idea why any of this is happening. And it's just, ugh. Jenny, breathe. Okay? My parents felt all the time and split up when I was 10. Sometimes people just aren't meant for each other. You just need some time to realize that. That's the thing. My parents never fought. I have no idea why my mom is doing this. It's like she's trying to ruin my life. All this may not be her fault. If anything in life, it's not good to assume without knowing all the facts. Okay, that's definitely good. That's a good... Maybe it's for a good reason. That, what that's a good in statement. universe like, would my mom know. literally uprooting our lives be for a good reason? Who knows what she's going to do now? Is she going to start dating again? Because I'd be weird and gross. I'm sure that's the last thing on your mom's mind right now. It's probably going to be... I knew she was going to see it, bro. I knew she was going to see it. Years until she... <laughs> Jenny, no. Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. Oh, no. Um, I, I'm, I'm so sorry my friend brought you all the way over here. I just, it's, right now is just not really a good time. Oh, um. It's, it's not you. You're, 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 um, yeah. You, I, you're, yeah. Life is like a little bit complicated right now, so. Um, you ladies have a good day. Okay. Uh, you too. You too. Bye. Really? Did you see the muscles on him? Really, Mom? You're not even legally divorced and you're already moving on. Listen, Missy, your mother is a grown woman. She can move Come on. on whenever she wants. Please. Jenny, baby, that's that's not what it looks Just like. Just save it. She'll 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 understand one day. So now because you're a friend, your daughter hates you even more. Hey. Damn. Plus, she's 13, so I do understand. Like, her dad is just gone all of a sudden. Like, it's definitely hard. Jen? Honey, I have dinner ready here for you. Go away! I'm just gonna set it outside the door then, okay? I said leave me alone! Where's my other? Okay. I thought I lost my food. Yeah, but on the floor? Like, what if a freaking bug gets in there or something? Like, put it on the table or something. Why, why doesn't she just explain to him what happened? Like, I don't get why she's crying and 
Like, obviously cry, it's a divorce and everything, but like, go explain to your daughter what the fuck happened. Like, why are you keeping a secret? Because now your daughter hates you and your ex-husband hates you. Like, explain to your daughter what the hell's going on. It's hard, but it's either she's gonna hate you or your dad, so. The running ring's still on. Oh, she's taking it off now. Yeah, he definitely did something. It's not just her falling out of love, it's it's more than that. Dear someone. Job in your class presentation today, Jenny. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Miss Gimble. Hey, sweetie. How was school? Good. She's being modest. She actually got an and her assignment today. I was gonna say, like, she looks really young. Like, obviously, she looks older than her, but like, she looks like she's like 13 to 15, and she's like 20. You know what I mean? Like, that. That's crazy. How she's like the prof. Like, they're the same height and everything. Like, she's maybe even taller. I don't know. They just look the same. Like, they just look. I don't know. Anyways. Awesome girl. Doesn't matter. Good to see you again, Priscilla. How you been? Great. I'm actually excited to go to this new restaurant this Saturday night. Oh, yeah? Well, my friend he actually owns that. Evan! Place. What are you doing here? You know I always pick up Jenny from school and take her to choir practice. I better get going. Mm. I'll see you tomorrow in class, Jenny. Why do I feel like this guy and this girl have something going on? Like, look at that. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like he's cheating. Oh, God. Oh, I texted God. you letting you know that I'm taking Jenny today. You didn't get it? No, I didn't. That's because I blocked your number on her phone. What? It does. But she's ruining everything, like bro, like, sh like she's the reason that her daughter hates her more. She she's the reason that this whole thing's happening right now. Like bro, this girl needs to back, back the fuck off just a little bit. Doesn't matter, okay? I'm here now, so you can leave. I'll take. No, that's not fair. I gave you a heads up. A heads up that I did not receive. It's not my fault. Uh it's her, it's, yeah, it's, it's the friend's fault, I'm not gonna lie, but, ugh. It is your fault, it's your best friend's fault. No, it's not, no, no, don't bring her into this. I'll... It is her fault, it is her fault, I'm not gonna lie, it is her fault. Okay, you should have double checked with me. Mom, stop. Dad texted me, so I'm just riding with him. See what you just did. Oh, I cannot stand him. Ugh. Are you going to be home later? Uh, yeah. A few hours. I... No reason. Oh, God. What is this best friend up to, bro? She's so weird. Didn't you? You know, singing is is kind of mid. Not gonna lie, she's over. I remember there was a there was a solo where they sang this exact same song. It was like the, the shy girl, and then she sang so good. She sang so beautifully, bro. And this is this is kind of mid. Not gonna lie, but again, they're like thirteen, so whatever. <laughs> But honestly, yes, the guy, like the dad is able to show up. It's a recital or it's an inter-choir practice. Obviously, he, he, he can watch. It is still his daughter. So, and both the mom and the dad can watch. It's both their kids, so. Look, I need you to get my website back so I can sell my candles. Sure. As soon as you let me back in the house. That's not going to happen. Three, 
She's laughing about it. Yeah, that was that was not hey. good. I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean to make a scene. Yeah, but you did. That's why I decided I'm moving in with Dad. Oh shit. But, no, no, let's let's just talk about this, okay? Don't make any rash decisions right now. Oh god, I'm scared. Why don't they turn turn the light on? They're not. They're about to shut the door, and then turn the light on. I know the friend's up to something. There's probably a guy there. Oh, there's definitely a guy there. That's why it's ruining everything, bro. She is ruining literally everything. Oh, come on! Like, the. What, what, what was it? The divorce of an error? <laughs> Celebration of an error or something? The end of an error. Ugh. me off now like explain the fucking situation why the hell are you hiding it like i know darman's making her hide it but it's like fuck darman like why make this a 22 minute video this video could have been done in five in five minutes bro explain what the fuck happened and then you can carry on the story with the mom not being hated by the fucking daughter explain the fucking scenario thank you please And his and, and best friend needs to freaking relax, bro, because she's wearing literally everything. She found the ring. I knew she was gonna somehow read that book, bro. Cause I, like, like once I saw that room, I was like, she's gonna read the book. And I assume whatever's in that book is the ex, the is like her diary or the explanation of why she left him or whatever. There's also something there to their photo or something. What is that? Dear diary. Today has. Bro, she, she, she sucks at writing. I knew it. Dear diary, the past 24 hours have been the hardest 24 hours I've ever had to deal with in my life. You see, I've been noticing something off about Evan for a few weeks now. He'd hide his phone whenever I came near him. He'd make excuses to constantly leave the house. He's cheating. I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt, even though my gut told me something was up. It wasn't until one night last week when I checked his phone while he was in the shower and I saw he was planning on meeting up with someone. With a heart. Michael. The contact was under a guy's name, but there were a ton of flirty texts back and forth. Is he gay? So I decided I needed to go see for myself who he was meeting up with. Oh, maybe it's oh, I it's probably just to cover up. Restaurant where Evan was supposed to meet this mystery person. It's gonna be a girl. I knew it was her. I knew I it was the fucking the teacher. A million years, that that mystery person was none other than Miss Kimball. 
I fucking knew it. I knew it. I, I called it. Jenny's teacher. I was mortified to be sure something was going on between them. I followed them back to her place. I looked through the window and I saw everything I needed to see. I couldn't believe he'd do this to not just me, but our family. Everything inside of me shattered. We argued for hours that night. I told him I couldn't be with him anymore and he needed to get out. He begged me to forgive him. But when I won it, he said he'd shut down my website and my entire business. I couldn't believe the things he was saying. When I asked him why he did this, he told me it's because Miss Kimball's younger, prettier, and looks better than I ever will. Oh shit, bro. That's so fucked up. So you see, in the last 24 hours, I've lost my marriage, my business, and now my daughter hates me because I haven't told her what's happened to avoid her seeing her father differently. And yet, somehow, in all this, I've managed for everyone to hate me. Where's my mom? Um, I tried to stop her. Where'd she go? Oh, um, well, she said she was leaving to go see if she could make it work with your dad. What? Why? What do you mean? For you. She doesn't want you to hate her. <laughs> well, how's she gonna get there? Oh, she's still in the car. single dollar this entire month. Girl, I can't keep going like this. Why don't you just sue his ass? Why don't you sue his ass? Email. Girl, even then, my attorney said that it can take months, even years before something happens. How am I supposed to keep paying my attorney if I can't even keep the lights oh, on? Another email. New order confirmation. Well, no, that's not right. Wait, how am I getting in new orders if my website is still down? You don't need a website. I opened you an Amazon store. What? You might want to silence your phone. Those are going to keep pouring in. Your TikTok went viral. TikTok? What TikTok? Oh. Hey guys, my name is Jenny, and my mom makes these vegan, not toxic candles, all handmade with love. Unfortunately, my dad, who used to run her online store, recently shut it down because she filed for a divorce after she figured out he was cheating on her with my teacher. Unbelievable. So, I'm asking TikTok for help. If you want to show your support to my incredible mom, please click on the link in the description. It'll take you to her new Amazon store made by yours truly. Thank you so much. You've already made over $5,000, and the TikTok hasn't even been up for an hour. <laughs> There's no time to cry, because you have candles to make, <laughs> and I will help you. And I will help, too. 
Oh, no, not with the candles. <laughs> I told my husband a long time ago, I am too cute to work, and I am not starting now. So, I hope with this. Oh, yes! I'll make you look so good that every time Evan looks at you, he's going to regret having lost you. <laughs> okay, okay, well, we need to get going, so grab okay. that, baby, okay? <laughs> All right, these here are going to milk it. For the lemon and... Cheese. Yes. If you want to show your support to my incredible mom, please click on what the link. What are you watching? Oh, nothing. Who's that? Mr. Andrews. Yeah. Can't be here. What do you mean? Well, your daughter Jenny decided that she only wanted to be picked up by her mother. So, unfortunately, I can't allow you on the premises. <laughs> Come on, Principal Kane. That's hardly fair. He's her dad, too. And as a teacher at this former teacher, you are no longer teaching at Brookside. <laughs> what? Why? Well, maybe because of the strict policy that we have about teachers and parents dating, especially a married one. If I was you, I would pick up my stuff before the facility staff throws it away. You too. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Damn. Oh, is that the... Oh, it is the guy. He's like, fuck. I swear to God, I did not think that was already that far along. For some reason, I thought, I thought we were still at like the 12 or 13 minute mark out of the 22 minute video. Okay guys, that, that that was obviously rough. I obviously didn't have a lot to say in the final minutes there, but I mean, I, I feel like I just said random shit and I kept randomly talking, but being cheated on was always my biggest fear. Always. I, again, I've never been in, in an actual relationship before. Very, very close to one. You could basically say it wasn't one, but it actually wasn't. But very, very close to. And it didn't work. And it's fine that it didn't work. It doesn't always work. So, I wasn't cheated on because we weren't actually dating, so I've never been cheated on. I've never been in any relationship to be ch ch cheated on, but I feel like I'm, I'm always nervous that I will be cheated on. I've always been scared that I will get cheated on, and I've always just kind of had that thought that I will. Like, I feel like I'm not good enough, and I feel like I feel like I'm not good enough. So, with that being said, that's, that's how I feel. So, I mean... It's always been a concern for me. That's why teachers shouldn't date other parents. It's just wrong to do. This is a great lesson to learn what not to do. I mean, it, it would still be weird even if the husband was sig uh, single, or even if the guy was single. It's, it, it, it is kind of weird to date your, 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 one of your classmates, or sorry, one of your students' teacher or parents. The amazing courage of this young girl, the fact that she called her cheating father and her teacher out like that, that's great. Mm, this video came out during my, my, my parents' divorce. Uh, I'm literally 13 and my parents are also going to get divorced. They argue almost every day and it's gotten 10 times worse since Christmas. They always argue in front of me and my siblings so we know everything's everything that's going on between them. I know that they would be much better off apart and I don't want my dad in my life, but it's obviously still hard. So, again, a very true story. Like This this one was obviously more realistic in the sense of this, this definitely happens. I'll read one more comment. Um, this part, yeah, what is wrong with this woman? She's crazy. Surprise! Yeah, honestly, seeing that, I was like, bro, what the fuck? Like, I get it, like, you know, like, you're celebrating that, that, that you broke up with that cheating bitch, but it's like, at the same time, like, bro, you have a kid here. As a kid whose parents got divorced when I was younger, it was really, really hard. Honestly, I'm surprised my parents haven't gotten a divorce yet. I'm really surprised to be honest, but they haven't yet, and I'm kind of, kind of, kind of amazed. But it hasn't happened yet, so we'll see what happens. I remember every birthday, every shooting star, every wish I could make. I would always wish for my parents to get back together, and I was really depressed because of it. But now I've coped and gone to therapy, and I feel better. So if anyone is going through a tough time, just try to talk about it and find ways to cope with it. I hope you have a good night and day. Hmm.
definitely is true though. Like you just gotta push through and obviously sometimes it, it just doesn't work out and if it doesn't work out then you shouldn't force them to be together because it's, it's, it's just gonna make them miserable. And if you're their kid, like if my parents are, are arguing all the time and, and they want to get a divorce and then I'm telling them not to and they don't because of me, it's not going to make anything better. They're, they're going to argue, they're going to be unhappy, it'll make me unhappy because they're unhappy and then it's not going to be good. Either way, the kid will be unhappy because either way I don't want them to get a divorce, for example, but then even if I don't, even if they don't get divorced, they'll start arguing, things will still happen and then either way I'm not going to be happy. So Because either way you're, you won't be happy, I feel like you should do what's best for your parents. Especially in this case, again, the mom literally got cheated on, and basically got told, "Yeah, she's younger, she's better, she's she's way better than you are." So it's like, yeah, that's that's really tough. Like some guys do do that. Some guys do just sleep because of stuff like that, and it's it's gross. It's, I mean, obviously, me being my age, of course, you just look for good-looking people, and then you want to date them, or you want to meet up with them, or do whatever you want to do with them. And of course, you obviously want to go for like the younger, more attractive ones, or like the ones like whatever you're into, right? So, but again, once you're married with a kid, you can't just be like, you know what, I have a type and I'm just going to go with it. And you know what, my wife is not my type anymore, so deuces. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that, that that's very different compared to me. Like, I'm single, I'm a single Pringle. Even if I did have a, have, have a partner and I was doing that, that's obviously still wrong and that's cheating, so I wouldn't do that. But even if that was the case, that's, like, I'm not going to say it's better because, like, obviously we wouldn't be married. But, like, it's it's very different just dating someone and being married. Being married, like, you're literally married you know, married, so why the fuck would you cheat and literally have a relationship with somebody else? At least a boyfriend, girlfriend, you can just, like, text them, we're done, block. You know what I mean? That's, that's, that's how much it takes. Uh, for a divorce, that's not how it works. We're done, bye. No, that's not how it works. <laughs> so, I'm just saying, if it's like a relationship with like boyfriend, girlfriend, and then you just want to cheat on someone, then, then, then why cheat? Sorry, we're done. You're you're ugly. I'm not into you anymore. Don't say that. But like, sorry, we're not. In, I'm not, I'm not interested anymore. I like somebody else. Break up. Then you could get with someone else. At least then you're not a cheater. At least you end it just before you kind of date someone else. But still. Anyways, um, for anyone that's gone through a divorce, anyone that's any kids that has gone through their parents divorcing, that that it's obviously not easy. I wouldn't know exactly how it feels, but my parents argue all the time. I'm surprised they're not divorced, anyways. But they're not. Again, it's a miracle, which I guess is good. Um, nah, whatever, I don't really care, to be honest. But, um, yeah. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to give it a like. Comment down below. All your guys' thoughts on this video, please be sure to subscribe to Darman and myself. And I, I, I feel really bad for the mom, but again, the daughter helped her get get her get back on her feet. She got a new man. Ho uh, hopefully this man doesn't cheat. And, um, it, and honestly, it really, it does hurt, like, especially a marriage, bro, like, if I was dating somebody and this happened to me, I'd be broken. So a marriage, I can't even, I can't even imagine, bro. Like, I would not even be able to comprehend it. Like, 30, 38 minutes ago, or 39, 9 minutes ago now, I was telling you about my reward that I still can't even come to terms with, that I, that I got two whole days ago, over 48 hours ago, and here I am watching a video where this woman literally got cheated on while she's married with the, with a child and she was able to just kick, kick him out of the house and that's it. Obviously she cried, obviously she was depressed, but uh, me, mm -mm. I'd be like having a mental breakdown. I, I'd be, ugh, I'd be, ugh. I'm going to tell you where I'd be, but I would not be, I'd not be doing good. That's, that's for damn sure. So please, if you guys like somebody else, if you guys are losing your feelings, please just break up with a person. I know it's not easy if you're actually married to someone, but don't get married then, bitch. Like, well, it's someone who's better looking. Like, bitch, you're gonna get old and gross too, and then, and then, and, and then what? Anyways, the girl got fired, or the, the prof got fired. The dad obviously was not able to see his kid anymore, or just not gonna be, be picked up anymore. Obviously, the girl doesn't wanna be in his life anymore. And now, the uh, and obviously, the girl looked pretty damn nice at the end, so obviously, he was kind of jealous. He was like, oh, damn, like, the guy right there, I should be him, you know what I mean? So it's like, I guess he kind of got the karma too. Not like amazing karma, but I guess decent karma getting to, to see his ex-wife looking good as ever with a, with her kid. With a new man, that probably stings. So that, that's good. That's what are you spamming me for, bro? Relax. But yeah, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And thanks for tuning in to me react. And again, follow your dreams. Random, but follow your dreams. Keep Keep pushing through, keep going. And you guys will make it eventually.
and, and if someone cheat, or cheat, cheats on you, dump their ass, divorce their ass, deuces. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching a 40 minute video. So, 10 fingers for this video, 10 fingers for this video. I'll see you guys later. Deuces. Peace.